you know, Stu and I were just talking off air. It is really sad, but also I'm really happy that this is happening. It's sad that it has to be this way. But there, there is a parallel economy that is being built now. People are, people are realizing what is coming and they are starting to build uh, banks and uh, insurance companies that will be uh, outside of the system because they're just going to make it impossible for anybody to have any money, any loans to do anything that they, that they want unless you play along. And we're already seeing this now in our own businesses. And I, I think there's a great opportunity for... Uh, to get really good employees right now. Uh, If you're working in a company where they're telling you, you have to get vaccinated, you have to, you know, go through that, that uh, whites are all evil uh, seminar. What if you don't want to, where do you go to work? I want to introduce you to a guy who was in this very position Uh, except he was, I mean, he's been in the high tech industry for 20 years. He was in Silicon Valley. Then he became the CEO and founding member of MC, which, uh, was a consulting company of three employees. Uh, and he turned it into an international economic data firm with over 250 employees nationwide, but he had a problem. He was a Christian CEO, and I guess that wasn't wasn't something in the cards for the company anymore. Uh, And so he started a new business that I think is fantastic. We talked about it, I think, last week. His name is uh, Andrew uh, Krapuschetz, and uh, he is on with us now. Hello, Andrew. Hey, good morning, Glenn. Thank you very much. And um, and kudos on pronouncing my name. It is a terrifying name. It is on the air. So yeah, yeah. When you're on the air and you see this, uh, you know, I had to make sure I looked at it again to make sure I got it right. Yeah, crappy shots. It's, uh, it's y- true. It's crappy shots. You must have had a horrible childhood with the name crappy shots. You know, yeah, you either have a horrible childhood or you just lean into it and you really enjoy it. Right, okay, uh, good. And, and everybody <laughs> thinks they thought of the best new joke for that name. And I'll, I'll tell you right now, I've heard them all. Yeah, I bet I bet you have. And uh, none of those jokes could be said on the air. So let's move on. Is it correct? <laughs> <laughs> from, your, from your name. Uh, okay, so, Andrew, I saw this story, I think, last week. And we reached out to you right away because I think what you're doing is – is right on the money. You first of all, tell me how it ended with you and the and the company. Why why did you leave? Yeah. Uh, so again, I've been in the tech space for a while. I've also I've started a bunch of companies because I also believe that um, as Christians um, we serve a Creator God, and so we are little creators, and so we mm-hmm. should look for ways that we can create things that we can then use to turn around and bless. Other Others. people. So yeah. I've started a variety of businesses, um, and obviously uh, the most recent. And uh, full disclosure, I'm still an advisor to the board. Okay. Um, but for me to be involved in the day to day was just not um, palatable. So um, so we um, we ended, and part of it is it was clear to me it was time to move on anyway. And there's two reasons for this. Uh, as I've been deep in the tech world and have a lot of friends in Seattle and Portland and San Francisco and Oof. on that West, West Coast crazies, yeah. um, I saw them using their company's platform to push on a woke worldview, mm-hmm. uh, using their company's platform to, in the last election cycle, say, you must vote for Joe Biden. This is the most important election ever. And it's like, I, I thought you were a software company, not a political advocacy company. Correct. But it became clear that a lot of the people, especially in the tech world, were using their company to do this. And then we saw, I saw a lot of my fellow employees who were just, and not fellow employees, but fellow uh, colleagues around the country, just keeping their head down. Um, and it's, what's funny is when I started Red Balloon, a lot of people who are executives wrote me and said, you know, I love what you're doing, but I can't like what you're doing. Because if you know what I mean, yeah, yeah. Because I can't have anyone know that I'm a conservative, and my word to them is: look, there's a lot of conservatives and Christians out there, 
And I think it's time to raise the pirate flag um, or the Christian flag mm. and simply say, this is who I am. Um, and, and be unashamed of that. And so if you don't, if you, if you don't, we're, we we lose, we lose, we have to stand and stand together. And I don't mind standing with other people that don't share my belief, but they currently mind me and I'm not going to, why can you say all of this crazy stuff that I disagree with? And I don't have to even, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about it, honestly. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Can we just do our work? But you can't live right. in that world now. It's not good enough. You must participate. Yeah, and absolutely. And, and if you don't, then you get fired. And I had a good friend who lost his job because he didn't use the right pronoun. So the vaccine uh, issue is obviously the most recent and pressing for a lot of people because you have to put it in your body. But there's, they have been pushing this for a long time, whether it's CRT, whether it's uh, the right pronouns. And I think it is time for conservatives and Christians to stand up because the reality is that these conservatives, all of you who are listening, are the hardest workers. You're the people who are making the company go. Um, and so I started Red Balloon partly because of this wokeness in the workplace and partly because I saw this enormous gap in the labor market where – we simply don't have enough people to get all the work done. And the administration, the Biden administration, has saw, seen fit to demotivate people to actually participate in the labor market. And now with the vaccine mandate to tell them they're not allowed to participate in the labor market. So we have an unprecedented tight labor market. We have an economy that's trying to get going, but simply is not allowed to. And I think you're spot on. We need to start creating these alternative economies because I'll tell you, it is really fun to be an unapologetic conservative Christian and a public one. Um, and I would encourage is. everyone out there, it's time to raise your hands, raise your head, um, raise the pirate flag and um, and come out. Uh, I uh, was talking on a different show yesterday and I thought we need to start using the hashtag coming out conservative mm. um, and just tell people, you know, start. Um, proclaiming who you are, and it's okay, and we don't need to turn into all of us be political advocates, um, because I don't think that's necessarily the right thing either, but I do think it's an opportunity to just be unapologetic about who you are and what you believe. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to become an activist. I mean, I kind of am now, but I don't want to become an activist. I just like to work in places where, you know, even if you disagree, nobody's going to get fired for it. Nobody's going to get fired for it. Uh, let's just be human beings to each other. So you started Red Balloon, and how is this, how is this going? Yeah. No, so redballoon.work uh, has blown me away because I've started a number of businesses before. And I'll tell you, Glenn, I've never been part of a business before where I get unsolicited thank you notes from perfect strangers all over the country literally every day. People just saying, thank you for standing up for freedom. Um, and that's my encouragement to all of you listening is stand up for freedom and you'd be surprised. There's a lot of people who want to follow that. So I started redballoon.work three months ago, um, and we now have had over 400,000 people on the site looking for freedom. We have over 1,200 employers who have signed up, and every single day we have tens of thousands of job searches on the site. It's still mm. new, and I want to have millions of jobs. But, uh, but I've been super encouraged by this. And we've also just seen um, an overwhelming amount of support from people like someone said, uh, sent me a thank you note and said, hey, would you like a billboard in Times Square? And <laughs> as a side note, if someone asks you that, the answer is yes. Um, and so Red Balloon has a billboard in Times Square and will through the end of the year because they said, look, this is an important moment and we need to stand up for freedom. So there are powerful people out there who maybe aren't ready to raise their pirate flag, but they're definitely behind the cause. I will tell you this, too, that it is, it's really important that um, business people, if you're looking for a job, I, I, I hear from people all the time that are living behind, you know, the, the uh, Iron Curtain in the east of our country, and uh, they want out, but they can't, they, they can't move without a job. They have to have a job. And yeah. how do you know? And I, I encourage 
everyone, every company that is taking a stand to register and become part of this. And when you have uh, a job opening, open it up to redballoon.work and let's get people working together. Absolutely. Because what you do as an employer is you're not only getting access to really the best kind of workers, right? The workers who aren't an HR, an HR nightmare who are constantly complaining, you're getting people who just want to focus on work, uh, which is phenomenal. So the best kind of workers, but you're also giving encouragement to millions of Americans and saying, look, you're not the only one. Because the liberal media today desperately wants us all to believe that we're the only one that believes the way we do and that we're all crazy. And the more people, especially employers, who stand up and say, no, I'm going to put my logo on here. I talked to one CEO who said, look, um, I have been keeping my head down as a conservative Christian for years, but I feel like if I don't die on this hill, there might not be any left. I agree. And so it's time. I agree. Well, thank you very much, uh, Andrew. I appreciate it. Uh, that's Andrew Krapuschetz, uh, the founder <laughs> and CEO of Red Balloon, redballoon.work redballoon.work. Let's get the people who want to work and just want to move on with their lives. Let's get them working. As uh, Andrew just said, it's the best kind of employee. Redballoon.work. Thanks, Andrew.